Hey, what's going on guys? Jay here from EasyBladeShavingProducts.com and today we're going to show you how to open up a barbershop. Check it out. First and foremost, you're going to need to furnish the place. Um, I would say go to a quality store and get quality furniture because a lot of times you buy stuff off the internet, which is nothing wrong with buying stuff off the internet, but a lot of times you can get cheap stuff and you can't feel it and it can break down. Those are very important because remember your guys are going to be using these chairs you know, every day and really, really, really putting the work in there. A chair is a tool, a barber chair is a tool. So you wanna be careful with that. You don't wanna buy something that's too cheap and then it breaks down and then you gotta buy another one. So you wanna make that initial investment uh, the first time and the only time. And the same thing goes for barber stations, guys. Make sure that you get quality barber stations. Um, you wanna make sure they're really, really good because a lot of time the drawers can get messed up on the stations. Um, you, you know, cabinets could get messed up. In the past, I've owned a barber shop for over 10 years. And um, I must have went through a couple uh, pieces of furniture. You know, I didn't do it right the first time, so I'm talking from experience. So you definitely want to make sure you get something that's very, very quality. All right, guys, now you got your furniture. You're good to go. You got your location, obviously, if you're buying furniture for the store. Next thing you want to do is worry about licensing. Licensing is very important in any state. You want to make sure the license is correct because a lot of times the state board will come and come check on you guys and make sure that the license is correct. So a lot of people that are non-barbers are probably watching this video as well and they just want to open up a shop. They want to make an investment. Uh, so you want to make sure that you always have licensed barbers on hand. Here in New York, we're located in New York City, um, you have to have a master barber available at the shop at all times. So you can have a licensed barbers, but if they're not licensed barbers, then you can't really do anything with them. You always have to have a, a master barber there and you can have a princess under them. I don't know exactly how it works for every state, but you can go ahead and go to Google and Google which state it is and make sure to see what type of licenses you have to have. Um, and that should be good. Next would be the cost, the cost of things. I know a lot of people that are grabbing this video right now just wondering how much would something like this cost. Um, you can get a barbershop anywhere between, this is on the lower end guys, you can go from 15,000, you can go all the way to 45, 50,000. So it all depends how you wanna open up your shop, how much money you wanna put in it. And I know a lot of people like to start small. Um, when I opened a barbershop 10 years ago, when I did have a shop, um, I started off small and this is why I said I went through so many changes um, with the shop because I kind of grew with the shop. So it's always good to start small, uh, start with a small investment. But if you have the money, go for it. Uh, get all quality stuff like I mentioned um, and make sure you get all quality stuff because you're gonna have to get it twice if you do survive uh, the barbershop. Okay guys, you got your barbershop, you got your location, you're all ready to go. Next thing you need, of course, is barbers. Okay guys, picking barbers is very hard. Um, you want to make sure that you have a set of skilled barbers. A lot of people think um, that are not in the barbering industry think that you can just go ahead and open up a shop and just put a bunch of barbers in there. The problem is it's a service. So you need people with a good skill level. Okay, they have to be skilled barbers. So you want to make sure that you find somebody skilled. Yeah, you can go to barber schools and just pick up a bunch of barbers and put them in there but you will have to know how to train those guys and you will have to train them fast because you don't want anybody learning on uh, anybody's hair, you know what I mean? So you wanna make sure that you pick up a skilled set of barbers. And it could be tough at times because a lot of skilled barbers um, don't know how to do teamwork. So you're gonna have to basically learn how to train a team and have this togetherness um, because the industry, you know, it's like that sometimes. You gotta make sure that you find people that are willing to work together and really, really, you know, do their thing together and create a team. So it's all about team, guys. So once you get those barbers, you want to brand and create a team of barbers that want to work together. And that's the tough part. That's the challenge of having a successful barbershop. Everybody is their own boss in the shop. Everybody is like, nobody's a worker. Everybody's, uh, you know, you need these guys to, to work the shop. You need them there. Um, it's a service. So it's not like a product. You're not going to just have you know, you can't just throw a bunch of products on a shelf and the products work for you. You can hire a cashier and you're good to go. It doesn't work like that. Um, you need professional barbers, people that know what they're doing. Those are the people that are going to attract the, attract the customers in there and keep the customers coming back. So you can't just throw people in the shop, in the chair and say, all right, cut this guy's hair. The customers won't go, go back to the shop. And a lot of days with stuff like Yelp, uh, people will leave bad reviews for you and your business will, you know, go bad. So you want to make sure you got a quality, good set of barbers. Okay guys, you got your licensing, you got your business, you got your quality furniture, you got a great team of barbers. Now how are you going to get customers in the door? 
Um, that'll be one of the number one questions people ask. Well, nowadays you got advertisements like Facebook, um, Yelp, another one, and you want to go ahead and you want to place ads on these platforms. Uh, Facebook, a lot of people think it would be hard, but there's a bunch of tutorials you can watch and learn how to do that, or you can hire an ad agency to go ahead and do that for you, um, and you can basically have a local ad where people in the local area will see your advertisement and show your team of barbers. That's why having a good team of barbers is very important because they can see the quality work that your barbers are you know, showing and you can go ahead and promote those quality pictures and those quality, quality images of your shop uh, on your Facebook advertisement and that'll bring in lots and lots of customers for you guys. It could take time, it could be a little costly, but it's all possible guys. And like I said, you can go ahead and put ads on Yelp as well and that when somebody goes ahead and search for a barbershop in the area, they can find you guys on Yelp. You can be the first one to pop up and there you go. You can have customers in and out the door, guys. Okay, guys, hope this video helped you guys out a lot. Shay here from EasyBladeShavingProducts.com. I will talk to you guys soon. Leave a comment below. Go ahead and subscribe. We have tons of more videos coming for you guys. Talk to you soon.